Hi everyone, this is part 2 of my in and out tutorial for Final Cut Pro 10. Check out part 1 first if you haven't seen it yet because I'm just continuing where I left off. Now there's another method for combining double system audio with video in a multi clip. I'm going to start by going back to my music video collection. I'll just select a clip like this one and then hold down the command key and find my CD audio clip and select it as well. Then I'll right click and choose Synchronize Clips. The Synchronize Clips command has been around in Final Cut 10 from the beginning and what it does is it combines multiple clips into a standard compound clip but it lines those clips up so that the audio is in sync. When it's finished syncing it'll drop the clip into the event where I have to go find it. And here it is. It's called Synchronize Clip. I'll just drop that into my collection and then I'm going to double click it to open it up in timeline mode. Here you can see I have my video angle with its embedded audio and connected and synced to that is my CD audio. From here all I need to do is lower the volume of the embedded track since I don't need it for the cut and then back out of the compound clip. If I just do that extra step with all my original clips then when I make the multi clip each angle will have the correct double system sound already attached to it. This method is often used when you have more than one track of sync sound for each video clip. Now let's take a look at Final Cut's custom multi-clip controls. I'm just going to grab a few more clips, right click and choose make multi-clip. But this time I'm going to click on the use custom settings button. This opens up several settings for custom workflows. The first customizable option is for angle assembly. You can choose from camera angle, camera name or clip name. These are metadata fields that can be filled manually when the clips are ingested. Those angle names will show up in the angle viewer to make it easier to distinguish which cameras are which. Angle clip ordering on the other hand has to do with how clips are placed when there are more than one clip per angle and I'm going to show you how this works a little bit later. And then angle synchronization, this is the different ways that you can sync your clips. You have timecode which is pretty standard content created which Final Cut can read off of the cameras themselves, start of first clip, and first marker on the angle. Now the marker method is similar to assigning a manual sync point, but if you leave the audio sync checkbox checked, then you don't have to be precise when you're placing your markers. You just have to be in the neighborhood. This is the method I would use in situations where the automatic sync isn't quite working or just to speed up the audio sync process in general. Let's try this real quick. I'm going to cancel out and just skim over this first clip about where the song starts. I'm just going to hit a marker when I start to hear the song. I'm not being too careful about it. Then go down to the next clip and do the same thing. Again, I'm purposely not trying to be that precise. And one more. Okay, right about there. Now I'll take my three clips and make multi clip. And then I'm going to change the angle sync to first marker, but keep the audio sync checkbox checked. And then let it do its thing. It's going to check in the approximate area of the markers and look for a common sync point. When it's finished, I'll just open it up to look at it. I'm going to monitor all the audio and play it a little bit just to make sure it's all in sync. Good, sounds good. Now I'll zoom in to the markers and as you can see they are not on the same frame but Final Cut still managed to find the sync point. I'm just going to select a clip and choose make multi clip so that I can go over the rest of the custom controls. You can set a custom time code for your multi clip, and you can even set custom video and audio properties just like any project. This is particularly helpful when you have clips of different resolutions like I do. Now I want to show you another example of a multi clip, but this time using some non pro sources. Here's some footage I shot with a little consumer digital still camera, which can also shoot 1920 by 1080 H.264 files. I brought these into Final Cut using the iPhoto browser. I also shot some footage with my Canon XL1, which is a standard def camera, 
and I imported that using the import from camera feature. And finally, this clip was shot with my Android camera phone. And it's the only clip I had to convert before importing because Final Cut doesn't support 3GP files. So I just converted it to ProRes in Compressor and imported it into my event. I'm just going to once again select them all and choose New Multicam Clip. I'm just going to let it use the automatic settings again and we'll call this Cooking and hit OK. One thing that's different about this footage from the other footage was I had the digital camera start and stop in the middle of the segment so that I have two angles that were more or less shooting the entire thing and one camera that only shot portions. This way I can see how Final Cut deals with that. Okay, so here's my multi-clip. I'm going to open it up in the angle editor to see what I got. Looks like Final Cut did another pretty good job here. You see the first clip this is my camera phone here. It shot everything. My uh, Canon X-L1 was the close-up shots. And then these three clips are from the same camera, and they're all synced up in time with the other two clips, but I ended up with three angles. And I'm going to open the viewer here. I've got five angles, and I really only had three cameras there. Well, that's where this angle editor really shows its worth. I can simply select any angle or any clip inside any angle, and I'm going to hold down shift and drag it into the angle I want it to be in. I'm holding down shift to make sure that it doesn't slide to the left or to the right. And I'm going to do that again with this one. Hold down shift, drag it up. And now I only have three angles and it just goes black in between the times when I had the camera turned off. And I'll just go and I'll delete these extra angles like so. I have been waiting for a multi-camera workflow to be able to do this for I don't even know how long. I can always have all the clips from one camera in one angle only instead of in multiple angles. So I don't have to go looking for it. I always know where it's going to be. But it gets even better because you can actually tell Final Cut to do it from the beginning. Um, I'm going to start, I'm going to switch this back to four angles because I don't need all those angles. And I'll turn it off. Command Shift 7. Go back to my event browser. And again, these are the three clips I shot with my digital camera. Now, one thing you can do is uh, find this column right here called Camera Angle. If it's not in your basic view here, just right-click on the bar here and choose Camera Angle from the drop-down. And now, I want to make all of these to have the same camera angle. So I'm just going to select them all, go to the Inspector, and in the Info tab, choose General View, and you'll see there's a spot here for Camera Angle. So I'm just going to call this Camera A, like so. When I do that, it'll label all three of these cameras as camera A, okay? Close the inspector, select all my clips, right click and choose make new multicam clip. We'll call this cooking two and let it go. All right, great. So there's my cooking two, drag that into my keyword collection. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. And there it is, looks exactly like the one I just did manually. Only Final Cut looked in the camera angle column and since all of these clips were the same camera angle it places them in the same angle in the multi-clip. That is a very handy feature. But it even gets better than that. Okay so here I am back with my music video footage and you can see there's uh, eight clips I have here that are called M angle one through eight as well as some GoPro footage and the CD music. Now these M angle clips were all shot with the same camera, but there's nothing indicating that in the camera angle column. But I want to show you something. With just one of those clips selected, I'm going to go to the inspector here, and in the info tab of the inspector, if I select extended view, I can see a lot of some of the automatic metadata that came with this clip when it was imported into Final Cut. And if I scroll down, you can see right down here is this piece called Camera ID. This is the unique ID number for this particular camera. And each one of these clips has the same camera ID. So that's how Final Cut knows that they were all shot with the same camera. And it can use that metadata to actually populate the multi-clip in the same way that we did when we were assigning it camera angles. So I'm just going to select all of these clips here and right click to choose new multicam clip and I'm going to use the custom settings and we'll call this multi-take 
but this time I want the starting time code of the multi-clip to match the first clip that was shot with this camera. And according to the time code column, it's this one, M angle 4, 1245.55. So I'll just write that in there, like so. And then when I go to angle clip ordering, this is what we talked about earlier. This determines how clips that are in the same angle are ordered in the multi-clip. And I'm going to just, instead of automatic, I'm going to choose time code and then hit OK and let it do its thing. Now Final Cut is still synchronizing all of these clips to the audio, but it's going to place all of the M angle clips into a single angle to cover each of the multiple takes that were done. All right, there's my multi-clip. I'll just drag it into my keyword collection, keep things easy to see. Uh, I will open up the angle viewer so I can see everything. And I'm just going to close that, move all of my windows so that I can see better. And then I'll double click my multi-clip so that you can see what it did. Here are all those M angle clips. They're all in a single angle. And since the multi-clip's time code matches the time code of that first shot, I can easily verify that the other clips from that same camera are stacked in the angle according to their own time code. And I can see that just by going up to my angle viewer and choosing time code overlay so that I can see it. And I'll make it a little bit bigger so that you can see the numbers a little better. So there you go. There's my time code overlay and I'm at 1247.0022. I have the exact same time code of my clip. And if I say, for example, go to this clip right here at 1306.37.12, I have the exact same time code for this thing. So what it's doing is it's laying these clips out in sequence for each take. What's even more amazing is those two GoPro clips that I, I threw in there that had no time code whatsoever are synced up to the third take because Final Cut was using the audio to synchronize everything and it heard a subtle difference in the audio from the third take which matched the audio from the GoPro cameras. It's pretty amazing what this new multi-camera workflow can do. I'm Andy Neal and this has been an In-N-Out tutorial.